everyone, and welcome back to the Distortion Principle. If this is your first time here, it's in the name, Distortion. We focus on distortion, fuzz, high gain, dirty tones in general. Every now and then we may do something clean. We're going to be talking about my latest doomstick, and it is not hyperbole when I say it's probably one of the better, probably one of the better doom guitars that I've tried. So we're going to quickly go over the specs, and then we're going to check it outside of a mix, because you got to hear it in the beginning in a track, Laney AOR, we may do the rock reverb, but... Definitely Laney AR, Frost Giant Fuzz pedal, and eh, maybe like the Zach Wild Overdrive or a Maxon Tube Screamer. So, back to the guitar. Why is this a great guitar for Doom? Um, it's basically like an SG hidden inside of another guitar. Spec wise, mahogany body, no maple cap. So, it's a mahogany body with a carved top, mahogany neck, ebony fretboard. And when I say ebony fretboard, here, let me just show you. This cheap-ass LTD is also an ebony fretboard. It looks like rosewood, though. Just stained like black-ass um, wood. The carbon? It's actual black-ass wood. So it is arguably, because it's 17 years old, arguably better mahogany than what most companies can get now, except for Gibson. Arguably better ebony fretboard. If all that means anything as far as tone, I will leave that guys up to you. There's entire debates about that online. Here's the negative. The headstock with these locking tuners, these are Spurzel locking tuners. Man, these top two are so close together. It's a pain in the ass. It's not a problem, but it's a pain in the ass. What else? This body has been beat up and dinged. Like this was somebody's playing guitar. This was no case queen. This was no hang on the wall and look at it. This was a player's guitar. So. I'll probably do a video on it. I had to use a technique to take the dents out of the neck. There were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There were like eight of them. I'd say they are like 80, 90% gone. If you're interested in seeing that video, leave a comment down below. I still plan on doing it, but I'd like to know if you guys want to see it. Uh, stainless steel frets. That's another cool feature. Ah, this is this is something I like about every Gibson. String through body. You get a Gibson style bridge, but I like the string through body better than the stop bar tail piece. These pickups. Oh, before we get to the pickups. Coil split. So you get a volume, tone, three-way toggle. These pickups are supposed to be lace nitro hemis. I don't know that to be true. When you pop the pickup out on the back, it does say it's a lace nitro hemi. It says it's from 2004. Also, leave a comment down below. Do you think pickups can lose output power over time? Because on the website, they say these pickups are supposed to be 19K output wise. My meter says it's 17.8, and the bridge 15.6 in the neck, and like almost 8 in the middle. So not the power they were supposed to be. I wanted to get a set of these to put in the LTD, but because they're not reading right, I don't know what to do. Maybe just put some Dragon Knots in that guitar. If you would like to see Dragon Knots in the LTD, also leave a comment down below. Why am I telling you to do that? Because the only way to get the channel to grow is if you leave a comment down below. I'm a rapper, check that out. Anyway, now, I've talked about this guitar long enough. And if you're new to this channel, I talk about guitars a lot. Oh, the other part. This guitar right here, because it's a tongue oil finish, there was a massive amount of blackness right here from where the dude, I guess, would be anchoring his fingers when he plays. Easy fix. Take some sandpaper or some um, a 4 aught steel wool, clean it up, and then hit it again with tongue oil. That is the cool thing about tongue oil is to fix it, you just hit it again. Like, really, it's about all you do. Um, but it does not protect itself, it does not protect the wood as well as a, uh, a clear coat finish. So you're going to get more dings and dents in this than you would, say, something with some lacquer. Anyway, time for sound samples. Now before we get into sound samples, I do want to point out, I got this for like the price of a song. Less than $1,000, less than $800, less than $700. USA made guitar, premium woods, great pickups. All reasons why this is like the ultimate doomstick. 
All right, time for tones. Let's check out the sustain. That's with my noise gate on. It was still ringing. That is delaying the AOR on the high channel, non-AOR mode. So it's set fairly crunchy, it's dark, but it still has bite. Let's go ahead and check out the Big Fuzz from Frost Giant on this Doomstick. Big Fuzz engaged, most of the sustain on the Big Fuzz is turned off. Amp is noisy, not the pedal. Add a little bit more gain to that though. Let's turn the sustain up a little bit. Neck pickup. with the neck pickup, you're desert territory. Now we have the IME boost on. Neck pickup. Back the volume knob off. go to the high sensitivity channel now and uh, hit it with the wild overdrive oh no we're gonna do the maxon 808 way more noisy because it's a noisy ass amp maxon 808 we get this <laughs>
That's some delay. Okay, so we're on the high sensitivity now. No AOR engaged. Let's check out the uh, coil split. Check it out in the next. a really good sound and all right so there you have it this is my latest doomstick acquisition i do plan on this one sticking around i'm gonna do some more work on the dents so to recap why i mentioned sgs at the start of this video for like 700 bucks. This is a USA built with a case For all intents and purposes SG because it's, it's constructed like one Except for the string through versus a stop bar. I could probably throw in like some 498s or 57 classics in this burst buckers and it would probably sound like a Gibson, but these pickups I, honestly, I'd attend on doing that, putting some Gibson pickups in this. I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think I will. I think I will leave these pickups in here because this is a great doom sound. Like when I'm wanting to hit C, B, C sharp, this guitar does it in such a great way. The tonal quality of it is just perfect for doom. So if you could find one of these or any other carbon for a great price, I don't care what anybody else tells you, man. Um, do it because I've owned three. The last one I sent back because there was um, some setup issues and trust rod was kind of seized up. But the one I had back in the 90s was great. So I've played other uh, carbons that people I know had. They're in general really good guitars. Uh, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment. See you guys in the next one.